Hello everyone, welcome to episode number eight. This is all about the gargoyles and this is the mystical creatures video series. So if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe so that you can get notified of future videos. We have quite a few more videos in this particular series, but I also release other videos as well that will help you on your ascension journey and spiritual awakening path. All right, so I'm going to dive right into the gargoyle, gargoyles, and these beings are extremely powerful protectors, and they wanted to share quite a bit of information for all of you because you can call on them to protect not only yourself but other people. Um, something that they wanted to emphasize is that whenever you call them in and whenever they're around, evil and darkness uh, th things that would normally, you know, like psychic attacks or anything, uh, negative energy being thrown at you, um, cannot exist in their presence. So this is extremely important right now because as most of you know, um, the, the planet is really heavily thick right now with the darkness and that's because it's coming to the surface so that we can remove it as we're ascending into a whole new world, a new earth, a fifth dimensional frequency, and there's a lot of darkness right now, and they are uh, going after a lot of the light workers and doing everything that they can to hold on to their power and control that they have over humanity. So the gargoyles are going to be your best friends at this time, and so I'm going to go ahead and dive into their specific message that they had, uh, but when they were coming forward, they were like this strong, really powerful energy, and they were marching, just like an army, and they began to form a V. And the gargoyle at the front of the V is the one that decided to speak for the collective of this army of gargoyles. And so he said that we have been on the earth for thousands of years, and we were present during the times of ancient Egypt, um, Peruvian times, and Asian times, and during um, the Netherlands. So they were known, um, and throughout history, you will see a lot of these ancient civilizations have statues of these gargoyles at the beginning or the entrance of their homes. Um, they are very well known so that as protectors and they ward against um, evil. So this is exactly what they do and know that they are still around and they are here helping with the ascension and they want to protect and they have contracts with the humans to protect them. So just because um, back in the ancient times they were more like I guess well known with the humans because a lot of times the veil was a lot thinner, um, there was a lot more uh, there's just different things that were going on at the earth than it is now. We've kind of gotten away from all of these mystical creatures and beings, um, but they are absolutely real and they are very strongly present at this time. Um, you just need to call on them and they are here to help you, protect you. Okay, so um, we hold many forms. Um, so they were explaining how some of them are you know, short, tall, big, small, have wings, uh, spikes. Um, they usually typically have larger eyes, but they can come in many types of forms. So they're not all the same. Um, some of them walk on like hind leg or all four legs upright. Like they have very different, uh, different forms. So they wanted to clarify that. So if you were to meditate to connect with them, and wondering if there's a gargoyle because they didn't look like specifically ones that maybe you've seen pictures of or whatever. Um, just know that they come in many different forms. Um, so they wanted to clarify that. Um, and they can, they're mostly stout though. They're very like, remind me of like a bulldog where they're just super stout. <laughs> and that's pretty much typically how you can decipher between them and maybe a, a dragon. Um, but they, are guardians and protectors and ward off evil persons or dark energies and we provide a clear understanding to those humans who have requested us we have made prior commitments to humans prior to incarnations 
So a lot of you may not be aware of this, or maybe you are aware of this, but a lot of you have contracts with these gargoyles to protect you and they are available as your guides to help you on this incarnation at this time. And they're playing an extremely powerful, very strong role. Uh, these beings like are so powerful. Their energy as they're marching forward, they are very powerful light army of beings. Um, we are very active during night hours and we have the ability to cover vast territories very quickly. Our keen insight helps us to detect any dangers. Um, darkness, evil cannot dwell where we are present. At this time, we have incarnated as animals, as dogs, as cats, squirrels, horses, and many other animals. And this is really important, and I think I've mentioned this before, that a lot of these uh, mystical creatures have incarnated as animals and as our pets, and they are playing very powerful roles in our lives as protectors. And when I've done past life regression hypnosis sessions, and we have a lot of these creatures come forward, this is when I was first introduced to all of these magical, mystical, mythical creatures, Oftentimes, gargoyles do come forward, and that's when I started to realize, wow, like, what is this thing? Like, it's coming forward and has a lot of messages, and, and they do make themselves known, especially when you're going into a deep meditation or a hypnosis state, because they, a lot of them have the contracts with these humans, and they want to remind the humans that they are here and that you can call on them. They just need your permission, so... An example is like I use them all the time every day to call on them and I will call on like an army of them um, to surround like my daughter's school to protect her school and also to protect her um, but you can use it even with your animals um, but back to the, the, them being incarnated as animals um, and they will show up and let me know too, like in the hypnosis regressions, that hey, I'm here and I came in the form of your dog or your cat or, you know, a squirrel hanging around outside. It, it's very, very interesting. And some of this might sound crazy or mind blowing, but it's very, very true. And always remember that these animals that are here on the earth right now are souls and they are not. Like, like their true selves are very powerful beings most of the time. So don't underestimate the power of getting an animal and having an animal come into your life or being in your home. I always suggest having animals because they can transmute energy. They protect you. Um, they work with your heart chakras. They do so much for human beings and we do not give them nearly as much credit as we should. Uh, but yes, you may have a gargoyle in your family as a pet. And they said they're very, that we are very aware of their energy and many incarnations have you contracted with us like you mentioned, but when you choose a dangerous incarnation, we are always there, but they do not interfere, um, but they offer clarity and assistance with understanding your incarnation and many of us have chosen very difficult paths, and so they want you to know that they are here, and um, like I said, they've contracted with you. So we are very intuitive, and we understand our purpose very clearly, and we take this very seriously. So they are very, their energy is very powerful, very serious, and they are exactly like an army um, of beings that are like that you can depend on, that you can rely on, and they take their job very, very seriously. Um, we are an army of light, and we can be seen with Archangel Michael and Archangel Aria, Aria slash Ariel. Um, Archangel Ariel is what she's mostly known for, but she prefers to be called Aria, so I call her both. Um, but please call on us when you feel any uncomfortableness with a person or a situation. Um, we will stand by your side always. And they showed a powerful energy that comes when they're walking beside you. 
Um, they are super committed beings and uh, just like you would picture the army in any, you know, that we have here in the United States, for example, or, or wherever in the country. Like they're very committed, very dedicated, take their job very seriously. And I think that's why they showed uh, an army so that you can relate to the power and the energy and the protection that they do provide. So don't forget to call on them. Um, they want to work with each and every one of you, connecting with them, helping protect you. You can call them in to protect your home as well. And anytime you're walking into any situation, um, call them in because they will walk right in with you to any situation or person. I know we're coming up on the holidays and some people have a hard time right now with everything that's going on in the world and it can make people very uncomfortable with certain family members and friends and, and all of that. So call on your gargoyles because they will help protect you and you can, you know, they'll walk in front of you, beside you, behind you and protect you to make sure that no negative energy is coming into your field and you will feel a very strong, committed presence when they're around and it will help you through these difficult times and these challenging times that we are all going through on earth. Uh, so yes, this is their beautiful message to each and every one of you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you found any value in it, please like it and share and comment if you have any questions. I'm here to help you subscribe so that you can get future notifications. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next video.